sequestration. It was designed to cut government spending, but now some furloughed government workers may be finding a way to get those tax dollars back. A fair and balanced debate next. Some furloughed government workers may be collecting unemployment benefits this summer. They're using creative scheduling in order to make sure they're eligible for that assistance. But if the whole idea of the furlough is to save, not spend government money, is the practice legit? Here for a fair and balanced debate, radio show hosts Mark Levine and Chris Plant. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Thank you, Chance. All right, Mark, if they're off work, uh, you know, unemployment benefits, that's the law. You get unemployment insurance. You know, if I have a fire, I, and I, I get my fire insurance. The, the premiums are paid. The purpose of unemployment insurance is precisely when people are laid off without any problem on their part. They didn't do anything wrong. That's true for the government. That's true for any employer. It's required by state law. I don't really see the issue here. Why shouldn't people follow state law and people get their unemployment benefits? I mean, Mark, why should they, uh, and Chris, should they get uh, punished for sequester? Look, this defeats, obviously, the whole purpose, or, or it contributes to defeating the entire purpose of the sequester. The idea is to save money, not to play a shell game with it. We're talking about decreasing the rate of increase in spending by about 2%. And if we can't sustain that, sustain that which apparently we can't, without playing this shell game with other pies of government money, then, you know, honestly, this sequester thing has been a joke from the beginning, but this is turning out to be really absurd. I mean, this is truly the theater of the absurd if if this and they're not losing their jobs they're being uh, you know they're being cut back by a couple off. of days in the private sector this is happening all over the country and people get unemployment work. there too not when no you don't it when does, you're scaled back they're not losing their jobs they're law. taking a few days off we're talking about 11 days off in order to save money a lot of us have taken cuts in pay in the real world here and there's not another pie for us to go to because in the real world in corporate america we're dealing with real money not somebody else's money. As you know, all of this is done under state law. Government employees are treated the oh, same way as private I, I employees. I understand that if it's you, the law. The, no, the but law is states, the problem. Some states only give you benefits if you're fully laid off. Others sure. give it to you if you're partially laid off. I understand. All these government employees are doing is having the same rights and benefits that private employees well, Mark, have. Mark, let me ask you about this because they're getting very creative, some of these uh, employees. They're, they're working deals within their unions to lay them off in certain chunks of time and not lay them off, furlough, furlough them for a few right. days. They're going to come back. Full job still going to be there. But taking these blocks of time in a specific way just so they qualify for the unemployment People insurance. get creative in order to get legal benefits. I remember when people were complaining about Apple Corporation. Apple Corporation has more than $100 billion in cash, but they're still using debt because they don't want to repatriate the funds. They're doing all these shell games just so they don't have to pay U.S. taxes. It's perfectly legal. If you don't like it, change the law. The same is true for all kinds of people who decide to do a, a tax expenditure on December 31st or January 1st for tax reasons. It's within the law. It's perfectly legal. And there's a reason for unemployment insurance. It's not their fault. If Republicans well, are playing games in Washington, it's not the fault the of our hardworking government are, well, employees. That's, that's, now you just went off the absurd uh, rails here. Listen, uh, we've got major problems in this country with spending, with debts, with deficit. We've got a $16.8 trillion national debt. We're passing the buck along to another generation. We're passing it along to other people. You guys think this is cute. You think this is fun. No, oh, but I think look, if cute. you're losing this, we've got a record number of people on food stamps. We've got a record number that's of people right. on disability. You want disability. to put more people on food stamps. We're, yeah, I don't that, understand yeah, the purpose it. of that. The, uh, when people are unemployed listen, and they need to go on food stamps, that's not a good thing. nearly 11 million people on Social Security disability. If, if disability were a state, it would be our eighth most popular populous state. We're gushing cash all Here's over the what? place to pretend that this is cute in now some look, way to Chris, game the Chris. system by, by taking from this pie instead of that pie is quite honestly outrageous. It's disingenuous. Chris, They're gaming the system and you shouldn't not casually. The of system. course they are. They you are, just described look, Apple as gaming the system they because are. they're adhering to the tax legal. code. Right. And are you saying that Apple shouldn't be, should be taxed? Because I'm all for yeah, changing the law. Yeah, they should be taxed. Yeah, yeah, we should have a flat tax. Let me ask you a question. Including corporate. We put this out to our Twitter followers and we always love to hear from them and, and one of the questions that came up I thought was really interesting they said listen if they're gonna get government money why not just keep them working why not find out right. a way to that. deal that if you are if you're gonna apply for the unemployment benefits you're gonna get the money anyway that instead you just stay at work well first of all we need to be clear unemployment benefits do not give you all the cash back that you lose they, they're only a small portion of it so it's certainly not a full one-for-one one thing but I say absolutely keep them working if we feel that employees are doing a good job we should keep them working it's all very easy, uh, easy Democrats and the left it's other people's money there are very real problems we have to start addressing them and to pretend that this is nothing but a game is just a continuation of the absurdity that is Washington. Gentlemen, we love your spirited debate. Come back. <laughs> we like you as a team. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. All right.